in the mail, MSX came from Japan. Collecting with our fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with our pick up and play video. Um, a little while ago, and it was a little while ago, um, a uh, guy on Facebook was on, on I think the MSX group, um, <coughs> listed a whole lot of um, cassette tapes, um, version games, available for sale. The ones that took my particular inter interest were the, um, were a couple of titles from the Netherlands that um, I remember from back in the day. Um, so that's all I was really after. But at the end of the day, he actually had quite a few titles that I didn't have, and I have mainly collected um, the cartridge games in the past. Um, <clears throat> but there are still quite a few games that came out in UK and Europe that are actually quite good. A lot of them are direct spectrum ports, um, but that doesn't make them bad games. Um, but also other ones are original games as well, just they were distributed on tape, much like my games back in the day. Um, so I actually ended up doing a deal for pretty much most of the titles he had. Um, we basically had a, a box weight limit. Um, at the end of the day it was going to cost the same amount of money to get the box over here. So we just had to make sure we didn't exceed that. So I had a priority list. Uh, this isn't the original box because I've taken them out and, and um, uh, had a bit of a look at it. He actually sent me a couple of spare uh, loose tapes as well. There are a lot of titles here. I'm definitely not going to do a gameplay of every one of these games, um, but I'll definitely do a gameplay of um, a few of them so we can have a bit of a taster. I mean, they're also tapes, so they might not work, uh, but I should be able to find download copies if I can't otherwise. So, in no particular order, this is just how they come out of the box. From Mr. Micro, we have Crazy Golf. I don't think I've had m m titles from Mr. Micro before does look like uh, maybe a basic title. Then we have Humphrey, which maybe looks like a bit of a Hubert inspired game. Um, we have six computer hits, so a collection of titles. So we've got Brian Jack Superstar, Disc Warrior, Hustler, Chucky Egg, Les Flicks, and Special Operations from Lothlorien. So quite a few games on one tape. We loved that back in the day. Um, from PSS we have Maxima. Don't know anything about that one. What else we got here? <coughs> right, so this one will be a um, Trek Speaky board, especially from Ocean. But it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Um, and it's Rambo 3. I love it how the screenshots in the back are probably... <laughs> Yeah, they don't have screenshots from various computer formats. Put mm. one in a larger tape format there. Um, I have this title for quite a few systems now. It's um, Scrabble. I do believe I play, have played that one back in the day. It's not a bad version across different systems. Okay, so a couple of titles that obviously came out with the Toshiba range of computers in the UK. So we have Teach Yourself Basic and Checkmate, First Moves in Chess, so they're more like educational. I'm trying to do these sort of by brand. Oh, here we go. Here's a couple more from Toshiba. Now, this one sounds vaguely familiar. I may have played this one before. Polar Star, because we did get the Toshibas over here, if in limited um, quantities, and one called Pinball Game. I'll definitely be trying that one out. So, um, here's three Kuma titles. Now, Kuma are very important because, uh, well, to me anyway, because they actually bought out um, a, an assembler, which I still have, and I do have a couple of their other titles, so it's nice to fill them out. They're nothing special. We've got Cribbage. So it's a card game. Um, Hyper Viper, which I 
suppose this is a bit like snake. Um, I, I, I do remember this one. I mean, I think I saw a Hyper Viper back in the day, but also this one, Eric and the Floaters. I think this is quite a popular Kuma title for several systems. Okay. So, from Livewire, I've never seen any titles um, from these guys. We have Grid Trap and Alpha Blaster. Um, from Codemasters, we have Vampire, which is a specky conversion, but it looks quite, looks quite interesting. Um, sea King, a brand called Players. So I do apologise, I'm not going to be able to play all of these. Um, and then we have Danger Mouse, Black Forest Ghetto. Um, I used to love Danger Mouse when I was a kid as a cartoon, it's one of my favourite cartoons. <clears throat> right, now, I have another from Bug Bite. Um, I believe these will be the same as the cartridge versions that were brought out in Japan. We have Dig Dug. And it's not a bad version of Dig Dug if it is. And Pac Man. So these are the like Namco titles. Now, now we're down to the titles that I actually saw in the first place. Now they're by Eaglesoft. Uh, so from the Netherlands, and they made very good games for the MSX, all on tape. Now, they, these are there are four here, which is great because they don't have um, other than um, like a F1 Eagle game. I don't have any um, EagleSoft games in my collection, and they were really well good games. And we got them over here in Australia, and I did love playing them. So, and they're actually quite well done games. So the first one is Hopper. So we can assume that one is Frogger. So I'll definitely be doing gameplays of the Artvac games. Um, boom! There's no screenshots on the back. Also had inventive games, and they also a lot of them had had a little bit of digitised speech in them. So Boom, I believe, is a Missile Command type game. Um, now this one is actually a second release because the first release was called something else. So this is their take on a Pac-Man game, and it's called. Oh no, the first one they brought out was called Oh Shit, and it actually said that in the speech in the game. So I take it this one will say Oh No. Definitely be following that one up. And last but not least, um, and I don't think I ever played this one, is Centipede, spelt a little differently. So it'll be interesting to see what these titles are like. Um, it also sent me a couple of doubles, so if anybody needs these for their collection, um, I haven't tried them to see whether they work yet, but we have Humphrey, another copy of Humphrey, and another copy of Boom. So it's just loose cassettes. I'm happy to um, send them along to somebody who um, needs them for their collection. All right, so I will play some of these games. I'm not going to be able to play all of them. There's just too many. Um, but um, yeah, all right, let's cut to that and go give them a go. Right, so here we go with Boo. It's not the side event, it is a Galaxian clone. <clears throat> also, unfortunately, we're on emulation because um, it looks like the belt on my tape drive has um, either stretched or broken. It actually full forwards and rewinds, but it doesn't play anymore. <clears throat> so until I get a new belt and or a new tape player, I'm a bit stuck. So I just wanted to play these games, so um, Cassette images, uh, not for all the games, of course, but quite too many. But we'll start with this one. Alright, let's give it a go. This is actually the second time we're recording these as well because I recorded once and got no audio on the game. Hopefully, I'll do this time. Animations are good. Whoops, <coughs> it's a bit mean on the swooping patterns. 
and the collision detection for that matter. again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, didn't even see they were driving. And flattened by a truck. <laughs> oh dear. As you can see, not very good that one. Very well animated and written. Uh, the sound effects are quite good. Um, no music in this one compared to the others. I love how they've got demo modes as well. So very impressive title. Would have absolutely loved this back in the day. I love Frogger. Um, <clears throat> quite a difficult game though. All right, let's try the next one. Right, next we have not oh no, but oh shit. Uh, I thought you couldn't find an image of oh no. This is Joey, Paul, Willie, and Frankie. And as you can see, it has quite well done sound. <clears throat> And um, looking forward to this one. Looks like a very good version of Pac Man. Quite fast, too. Just slow down there once all the goes through. version of Pac-Man, but they managed to get some digitised speech. Two. 
done. So level three. Oh, you're getting into missions. It's always nice when it's got the extra little bits. No music playing when it's doing that, unfortunately, but that's okay. It's quite well done otherwise. Here we go, level three. This should bound to be faster again. <laughs> This was fantastic. I remember loving this one back in the day. Um, don't know why I never got a copy of myself. Probably because of the limited quantities. Working in the store didn't really, um, didn't actually have much money myself actually. But um, definitely a brilliant game. I used to love these Akasoft titles. Um, <clears throat> there is actually another one that I wouldn't mind finding at some stage. All right, let's try the next one. All right, so next we have a centipede. screen. Nope, so we've got the same music that we had on Boo. <coughs> it's a very colourful version of Centipede. Prepare for next attack. More speech. Four tables, uh, speech, and quite a decent gameplay. Um, so that's all four of our Akasoft titles. Um, we'll try a couple more of the other titles. Welcome to Syndicate. Speech is very well done. All right, let's try next one. All right, next we have Polar Star.
done quite well. Ooh, let's see if we get a 
Game. I really like that one. Right, so here we go with Rambo 3. Um, definitely be a direct specy port. Quite nice music game. Now let me guess. Direct specy port won't map the standard keys to start with, which is a bit sad. multi-load. Um, <coughs> other advantage of using emulation is uh, obviously the tape loads are much Search any thought and find a clone of Trotman. Okay, go for it. Well, it looks quite nice colour-wise. We have a bit of a short range fire. There was a door down there, wasn't there? Or is that the way out? Now all they had to do was use a sprite for the main man. And it would have made heaps of difference. Now, notice the enemies are pretty stupid. aren't very intelligent. Sort of spoils the game a little bit. We don't seem to have anything to pick up either. Nope, nothing down here. slowly die on the right hand side as we get hit. At 
extremely low frame rate that could have been so much better if just to have used a sprite for the main character and maybe some sprites for the enemies. I mean, they could have had these nice. Looks like you get hurt if you run into the bodies too. Um, and you wouldn't have had this color clash we're seeing at the moment. So I can't go this way. Ah, I'm gonna go back. And don't get me wrong, I would have probably quite enjoyed this game back in the day. See how we're suffering frame rate wise because we're having to update so much of the screen all the time. Hmm, looking very skeletal now. figuring the map out. I think I've been in that room. The fact that the enemies aren't very intelligent doesn't really sort of spoils the fun of the game a little bit. Things that look like pickups but don't seem to be different colour. No. Bit hard to know what we're looking for. We kill people, but otherwise it doesn't seem good. Really. A lot of point in doing so. Oops, we died. Not too bad, I would have enjoyed it back in the day, because, you know, less fussy back then. Um, and I wouldn't have minded whether it was a speaky board or a direct MSX game back in the day, just because of the number of games I had available. Um, but nowadays, different different eyes. Um, it's a quite good uh, speaky board game, but the actual gameplay of the game lacks a little bit, I think. Maybe it gets better in some of the later levels. Um, and I do have Rambo 3 on the uh, mass system, and that's a much better game. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed these ga this um, pick up and play video. Um, sorry I can't play all of the games, uh, but it would just make the video too long. Uh, maybe uh, if I can get the, either the tape engines or finally get uh, my tape player either fixed or find enough one, I'll do some gameplays of some of the other games in the future. Alright, I'm Electric Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.